Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of a new beginning. This is someone making an offer. Um, this, this can also show an energy of someone who is extending um, an apology or taking accountability for something, but there's just something very honest and real and reliable, trustworthy about this. Um, so someone is extending themselves in some way here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse, and that's Fire Energy. The Devil in the reverse, Capricorn Energy. And the Justice card, Libra Energy. So with the Seven of Wands, there's this energy of someone who is... It's almost like they're, they're becoming less defensive. They're humbling themselves in some way. This is someone who is... Um, you know, allowing themselves to be a bit, a bit vulnerable in some way to you. Um, because you also have the devil, which is an energy of someone who is surrendering, relinquishing control. And um, there's something, again, it's, it's like they're coming from a very um, non-egotistical place. They're very healthy in this pursuit. Um, again, we have the justice card, which can show an energy of someone who's taking accountability, speaking a truth or apologizing for something. This is someone who wants to let go of something that was toxic and attachment, or it's like they want to change the situation. They want to bring back good health to this connection. So someone here is really going to put themselves out there in a mature and genuine, honest way. So let's clarify these cards, um, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So again, we're seeing a very emotionally mature energy. Someone is taking the high road. They're being the bigger person, and it's sincere. It's, it's truthful. This is someone who's putting the ego aside and really speaking from the heart or operating from their heart space. So this is someone who has love for you, and it's going to show. There's this energy of um, showing respect to you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Two of Cups, Water Energy, and the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy. So definitely this person, they see you as someone that, you know, that you, you guys have a special connection with the Two of Cups. And it's like they, in the past, perhaps it was some sort of toxicity or something was affecting the connection, making it unhealthy because you have the devil. But this person has released that. It's like whatever was um, negatively impacting this connection, they've released it. This is someone who's giving over their heart to the connection. Um, and what they are promising is something you can trust what they are saying here because we have the, 
the Ace of Pentacles. So there's an opportunity to begin again um, from a, a better place this time. Um, and with the Two of Cups, there's this energy of this person feels very seen, very adored by you, very understood by you, and they want to reciprocate that energy to you. Um, this person sees you as someone who is um, who owns every part of themselves with the, the Queen of Wands. There's this energy of you are yourself and it's inspiring to this person. This person feels very drawn to you and there's an emotional connection that they feel, and, and, you know, they feel like you guys together, you can really compliment each other. There's a lot of love here and this person is also willing to be patient with you. Um, but with the Seven of Wands, there's this energy of them wanting to fight for a connection with you, wanting to fight for another opportunity to start again with you. So I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Gemini. says you're very close to achieving your goal give it smooth so this person there is this energy of um you know it's like they they're about to express something or offer something this person has a goal in mind this person knows what they want this is someone who's going to be quite clear and firm um there is this energy of truth being revealed at the justice card okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you gemini is children your love life is being influenced being affected by children so this person they may have behaved immaturely in the past there's this energy of them um owning something some sort of behavior or pattern or e even with the devil being here it could be some sort of uh fears or attachments you know there is this toxic energy with the devil there and immaturity because you have this children card but there's this energy of this person wanting to it's almost like man up or woman up but there, it's like they're they're coming with this more grounded more emotionally mature energy um wanting to put an end to some sort of game playing or toxic patterns of theirs okay so i'm going to put another card for you um gemini Is strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Okay, so this person, they, there is this energy of them having gone, had gone through some sort of growing pains. Um, this is someone who it's like they've learned some sort of lesson because we do have the justice card, some sort of karmic lesson. Um, and it's like they, some, they've they realized that certain things in their life were not serving them and were affecting how they were showing up in this connection. So this is someone who really has, it's almost like they've gone through some sort of shadow work because you also have the devil and it's in the reverse. And they are emerging as a new version of themselves or a better version of themselves. And from this place of being like this, this person wants to be able to make a promise and keep it because we do have that Ace of Pentacles. So I'm going to pull out some messages from your person, Gemini.
first card we have is I don't react when people mention you. I left you before you could leave me. And I look for you everywhere. So this person acted immaturely in some way. This is energy of wanting to protect themselves, operating from a place of insecurity, ego, um, hurt, you know, a very uh, childish mindset that they had. And there is this energy of um, having had sort of pride with this, I don't react when people mention you and I left before you could leave me. So to this person, it, it, it was definitely stemming from some sort of fear um, or immaturity with this person. But we do see someone here who's coming forward and is ready to own up to something here, um, ready to restore some sort of innocence to this connection. Um, and there's a comic element to this situation as well. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.